Okay, I know some of you guys right now are must be going insane wondering why the hell is there a Modern Warfare 3 video? You guys are about to message me and say, um, I think you got the wrong gameplay here. This is Modern Warfare 3, not Battlefield. But, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is, is about Call of Duty in general. Well, well, mainly not Call of Duty in general, but just Call of Duty 4 and World at War. Um, for those of you guys who don't know who haven't been with my channel, uh, for that long, I started gaming uh doing gaming videos with call of duty 4 you guys remember I, if you have been subscribed to me since the beginning then you remember that um i made that commentary about the hackers and call of duty 4 and uh that commentary was like a proud moment for me <laughs> i don't know why it was just it was a hilarious commentary in my opinion but anyways uh what happened is is that somebody made a video for those of you guys who saw that coney 2012 video that came out in the beginning of this month Somebody made a video simi similar to that, but in the sense that they're trying to raise awareness about the issues going on in Call of Duty 4 and World at War right now, which is basically the fact that they're all hacked to shit. And um, the reason why I'm going to help out with this issue is because I actually like Call of Duty 4 and World at War. There was moments yeah, where I'll rage at that game, but it wasn't as bad as what Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3 was. And um, I played the hell out of Call of Duty 4. I played the hell out of World at War, and I played the hell out of Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 2 was the last Call of Duty that I played the hell out of, because Modern Warfare 2 was pretty upsetting. If you guys that played Modern Warfare 2, you know that there was just a few issues that could have been fixed, that were never fixed. One Man Army, Danger Close, Commando, things like that. It was just like so obvious that this needs to be fixed, but it was never, ever fixed, and those issues are still in the game right now. Um, but Call of Duty 4 and World at War weren't that bad, of course. You have Martyrdom, which kind of get annoying, and, and Juggernaut, which sometimes would get annoying, but was kind of, you know, on the fair side because of stopping power and whatnot. But the thing is, with me, Call of Duty died after Modern Warfare 2. I, I tried Black Ops. I didn't like it. In my opinion, it looked and felt like shit. And uh, then Modern Warfare 3 came out, I got it, but I don't even play it that much. Whenever I play it, I just play Infected, as you see now. That's, that's probably the only game mode that I can enjoy, but don't enjoy it to the, fact, to the point where it's addicting. Because Modern Warfare 2, I was frustrated at that game, I hated it, but it was addicting. That was a thing. And Call of Duty 4 and World at War is that type of game that you always want to go back to and play. But now you can't, because the game is hacked. It's hacked like crazy. Uh, World at War is hacked so bad that some games you join, your screen is pink. How in the hell do the developers expect you to go back and play that game if the screen is pink? And what they're trying to do now is they're trying to get it fixed. However, I don't feel as though the developers are going to actually fix it due to the fact that there aren't really a, 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 a huge number of players playing those games anymore. With Modern Warfare 3 out and Black Ops out, you know, those are the two main Call of Duties being played right now. Compared to World at War, Modern Warfare 2, and uh, Call of Duty 4, a lot of players aren't playing those games anymore because they're old now. But there's still players out there who are passionate about getting it fixed. And, um, you know, a patch does cost money. For those of you guys who don't know, I think it's something like 2000 Well, I was just about to say 2000 uh, <laughs> I think it's something like $25,000 for a patch. So, so I heard. Uh, if I got that number wrong, I apologize, but I haven't read about it in a long time. I read about it a while ago. But anyways... Um, they want to get it fixed, and uh, I'm hoping that they actually do get it fixed because there are some times where I go back and play Call of Duty 4 or World at War. World at War especially, I play it because I like the bolt action rifles. I like the um, like the bolt action rifles World War II feeling, you know, the Car 98 and the Springfield without a scope on. Just that it gives you this feeling like it's just it's an awesome feeling for me. And uh, that's the reason why I go back and play those games. But now you can't because they're hacked. I don't play World at War anymore because it's just, it's hacked. I don't play Call of Duty 4 anymore because there's a lot of games where it's hacked. You got all these glitches where, um, well not glitches really, hacks where you got unlimited noob tubes. And it looks like a rain of noob tubes are, are falling from the sky. Like Robert Trolling just took a shit on you. And some people, you know, they will hear this and they'll say, oh my god, it's just a game, relax. But what those people need to realize is that crackheads have their crack cocaine fiends have their cocaine um i don't know wh whatever else ecstasy users have their ecstasy and us gamers we have our video games we have that game where we enjoy it's a break it from reality it's 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 just like it, it makes us feel better you know and um when the game isn't right when it's broken then we can't you know we can't make ourselves feel better with that game you know 
It's like our drug, our addiction, and it's healthy. You know, there's nothing wrong with gaming. It's not like it's going to give you cancer or some shit or burn your lungs down. But I'm hoping that they do fix Call of Duty 4 World at War. This is just a little video trying to let you guys know that uh, there's a video out. You should go over there and like it and favor it and tweet at uh, Robert Bowling and David Vondahar try to get Modern Warfare 1 and World at War fixed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Till next time, peace.